Hey everyone, in the news this week, Tony Bennett died at the age of 96 and it doesn't seem to give a specific cause of death, although I'd heard coroner virus suggested. The Hugh Edwards story, that seems to have fallen off the radar, and yet he's still somehow claiming a BBC salary. It makes me wonder if we've finally reached the point at which bringing the BBC into disrepute is no longer achievable. Vladimir Putin cancelled a trip to South Africa after threats he'd be arrested for war crimes if he went. You know, I was looking at various photographs on the internet and between Ukraine and the UK reign, I'm not sure what one's more depressing really, I'd probably stick with Moscow too, Vlad. And talking of international criminals, I see that Ghislaine Maxwell was in the news. Apparently her fellow prisoners have given her the nickname of Cruella de Vil. Seems a bit lazy, to be honest, because if I was going to name her after a villain from a kid's story, I'd go with the child snatcher. There were three elections this week. The Conservatives lost Somerton and Selby, but retained Oxbridge. You know, for weeks we were told that Labour would win that one by landslide because Boris Johnson's apparently so hated by the public. Yet the complete opposite seems to have been true. It really seems that the tale of Boris's lockdown party was Shakespearean, in so much it was much ado about nothing. It also seems that Boris's phone is apparently not password secured, as I said last week. Apparently he handed the complete tranche of unredacted messages over to the COVID inquiry. Although I did have some password issues this week after I went to set a new password for my computer. I tried the word, quote, Fortnite, but it said it was too weak. And finally, there's a story here about that post office IT scandal where the computer system led to hundreds of people losing their jobs and livelihood and being wrongly investigated by the police. There's a quote here from a former post office manager saying, quote, I lost absolutely everything. Although I always assumed that was a requirement to get a job at the post office in the first place. Anyway, see you next week. Fly like these, click subscribe.